So to determine whether CH4 is polar or nonpolar, we'll start with the Lewis structure. We can see here from this Lewis structure that it's a fairly symmetrical molecule. We have hydrogens on either side. There are four of them. There's no lone pair electrons. So because it's so symmetrical, that makes us think that it's going to be a nonpolar molecule. But we really have to visualize it in three dimensions to tell how those hydrogens are spread out. So we can think about those valence shell electron pairs repelling each other and the hydrogen spreading out as far apart from each other as they can. And that would look like this right here, where the whites are the hydrogens and the black, that's the carbon. And you can see those hydrogen atoms are all equidistant. They're in equal distance from each other. And we end up with this tetrahedral shape here for the CH4 molecule. So because these hydrogen atoms are all spread out in their equal distance, there's really no areas of charge. Everything's balanced out and symmetrical. So there's no differences in charge, no net difference in polarity, no poles, and this is a nonpolar molecule. So CH4 is a nonpolar molecule. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.